Show's over. On your way. Make way for the stretcher. All right. On your bike, sir. Hold your way. Come on. Make way for the stretcher. Okay, Viv. What are your names, eh? And come on. I'm just going to take you through to your neighbours next door. Never mind, Mrs. Kelsey. He'll live. I do love him. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Sorry, I drank. that your husband's got eight stab wounds. You say the soccer is such a trap? Yeah, if Roach hasn't grabbed ever that stabbing in Lamport Road. You all right? Yeah, sure. You shouldn't be on this duty, you know. It's too soon. Well, you sound just like my missus. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking of changing my boozer. I'll take off the blue serge, we're all the same underneath, Gov. Yeah? You speak for yourself. Two halves of lager and they're a bunch of hooligans. They call themselves coppers. <laughs> Surely you don't judge a man by what he drinks, Gov. That's a good indication in my book. I'll go back to the station and get some snooker practice. I'll give you a black, take a tenner off you. Tony, my man, you are on. And uh, the black I don't need. Come on. Mr. Mabel? We're from the factory. I believe one of our chaps fitted some equipment this morning. Oh, yes. All right. I'll take you through to the charge room. Okay, right. then. Come on, this way. You're stabbing Lamport Road. Yes, ma'am. Right, thanks, Robin. Last orders, please. Last orders, please. Right, I'll we'll be getting back. Not before you bought me another drink, you know. Excuse me. I'm sure. You cut it a bit fine to get around in, Bob. It's bad enough working with you. I'm not buying you drinks at all. I'll get you one if you like, Sarge. Yeah, all right. Quite a bit, though. Cheers, Jim. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah, okay, sir. I wouldn't like to think it was staff, but that doesn't seem to be any other explanation. You employ a lot of part time staff, you said. That's right. Mainly students. Mm -hmm. It's only the mail changing room, you say? Somebody must have a master key. Well, there's not a master key missing. No. There you are. It's the best I could do. I'll be in my office if you need me. Thanks. So, to what do I owe this pleasure? You've got an attempted murder waiting for you back at the Nick. Not the stabbing Ted went to. Don't talk silly. It's domestic, isn't it? What, eight stab wounds with a bread knife? Silly. I'll soon have that done for a common assault. More than likely. There we are. Home from home. Is this what you call sports afternoon? Waiting for a thief to turn up? What I call a sports afternoon is something very different. <laughs> Not the way you are at the moment. You couldn't get anywhere even if I let you. 
I think you're probably right. I never thought the day would come when I'd hear those words from Tom Penny. <laughs> Better make that a small scotch. I told you never to come here. Do you want them or not? I think you can sit up now, Mr. Kelsey. Up you can. Thank God for that. <laughs> you're a lucky man. Looks worse than it is. She didn't mean to do it. Honest. No. Combination of things. Me being out of work, her being pregnant. You're not going to keep me in, are you, Doctor? No. But I shall want to see you again. What started it all? Cornflakes. Cornflakes? Never complain to your wife about soggy cornflakes. When, Michael, are we going to get some real cooperation from the uniform branch? That's what I want to know. I'm not biting. I think I'll go and give Ted a hand. I'm going to get this nick sorted. Get rid of all the ponces. Do what? Are you going a bit mutt, Robert? No, I heard. I'm just having trouble believing. <laughs> do you think for one moment the brass aren't clued into your reputation? And do you think for one moment that I'd give a toss? Charlie Brownlow is more interested in his golf swing and that converted barn he's got up in the lakes than what goes down in Sun Hill. And Conway? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good man. Good man, good copper. Like you, Bob. But by the book. And that is a worse handicap than Brownlow's golf swing. Now me, duck and dive, jab and weave. Buckle and bend. Results, Bob. The reason for our being. Results. And to get them, like I said, this nick gets sorted. Not without a fight. Seconds out, then. You feeling all right? Best case for a doctor. It's all being done, Mum. Children? They're with a neighbour until we know what's happening. Don't go back to my kids, please. Look, as soon as we get it all sorted out, love, you don't want to upset yourself again. When you do. Four weeks. What do you want this time, boy or a girl? I don't mind. He wants a boy. They all do, don't they? Little versions of themselves, isn't it? Glenn's only three. He's already going and playing football. He's not going to do much playing with the kids if she's taking a bread knife to him. Just fill in the form, Sergeant. Seen anything you fancy yet? I'm more of a brains lady myself. Hmm. That's what I always thought. Thanks for the drink, Jim. I'll see you tomorrow. See you later, Sarge. <sighs> nice drop of gold watch that, Jim. Would have tasted even better if Cryer had put his hand in his pocket. Well, you can't win them all, sir. Yeah, yes, well, we've got a pregnant prisoner. We'd like someone to have a look at her, preferably a doctor, to see if she's fit to be detained. It's, um, it's attempted murder. Come on, Carver. I'll catch you up, Gov. I feel a bit faint. Yes, so you should. I could do with a stiff drink. <laughs> Couldn't we all? She do this kind of thing often, does she? Oh, she's always been a bit... I mean, I like spirit in a woman, but... Fiery. She's always been fiery. Yeah, but bread knives? Well, she's never done that before. <laughs> I mean, I've had me dinner over me yet a few times, but then uh, that's married life, isn't it? Well, so they say. You married? Me? Nah. Tried it once. Didn't like it. Right. Do you want the stuff, yes or no? I've got other people who won't mess around like you, are you okay? And what are you talking about next week? All right, let's see the colour of your money. I think the children should be taken into care. Why? They're staying with neighbours. What could be better than that? Then bail her out. Bail her out? I'm not bailing out anybody charged with attempted murder. Ah, oh, this is Mr. Kelsey. That's an attempted murder victim. He looks fitter than me. Well, the hospital is short of beds. Well, as you can guess, he doesn't want to press charges. Stick it in a book and sling him out. 
No crime. Tom, Tom, switch the video on. Look, there's our thief. Is it on? Yeah. Do you fancy a frame? You're spying on me. Well, I think I know where you're at. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, you and that guy in the pub. So? Oh, come off it, Yorkie. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. I caught you at it. You saw nothing. You know nothing. Nothing at all. You and that geezer in the bog at the back of the boozer. I know him. So what? But he was selling. What? I don't know, but he was selling and you were buying, and that's got to be bad news. What we were doing was my business, not yours. So keep this out, OK? You've seen the adverts, Yorkie. Do you turn your back or turn him in? I mean, for God's sakes, you turn it in now! Or what? Well, what do you think? I'm warning you, Carver. You breathe a word. Just one word. How do you think that would help? You sticking one on me. Just keep it shut. Or else. That's a promise. It's your life. That's right. And it's my conscience. <laughs> Jump in, that's the fifth one she's done. Right. Where is she? You haven't seen a swimming pool attendant, have you? A girl? Oh. I've got to talk to someone, Mike. Do I look like Marjorie Proops? Oh, please, Mike. What have you done? Got a girl in the club? It's Yorkie Smith. He's on drugs. Yorkie? Never. I'm telling you, he is, Mike. I've got to report him. I've got no choice. Before you go shooting your mouth off, make sure you've got your facts straight. How did we lose her? We haven't lost her. Not yet. Huh? Ah. Is this the girl? It's her. Miss Dean, this lady and gentleman are police officers. Come and sit down. Miss Dean, you were seen by us opening lockers in the men's changing room with what we assume is a master key and stealing money from the clothing. Well, I'm saying I didn't. This is a load of codswallop. I'm saying I didn't steal anything. I'm saying this is a fit-up. And if it isn't, Where's your proof? You were seen, Miss Dean. The sergeant and I both saw you. Then you need your eyes tested, both. Because you didn't see me do anything. We'll see. Let's start again, shall we? First, I must caution you. You're not obliged to say proof? anything. You're not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so. stealing from lockers. Are you sure about this, Sergeant? Uh, there's no trace of the key or the money. Do you want me to search her again? No. If Miss Dean wants proof, she shall have it. You were going to show me proof? Excuse me. It up. You haven't messed anything up. Look, it doesn't matter. No, 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 I am sorry. Listen to me, Tom. You haven't messed anything up. You haven't messed anything up. We both saw her screwing the lockers. We don't need any other evidence. That's just what I'm trying to say. I could never go to court and give evidence. They'd tear me apart. I, I just, I just couldn't bear it. You don't understand. I've had it. God. Well, 
That lumber without stabbing. <laughs> what a waste of time that was. Any luck? Well, the bloody video wouldn't work. Well, what's the problem? Have you got a prisoner? Yeah, she's downstairs. Well, come on, then. Come on. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, 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 I'll be all right. I'll take a walk. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Positive. Great. Just the ammunition I need. Can't we sort this out ourselves instead of going to the top? What a coup. I can just see his face when I tell him. Gov, I thought we could sort this out in a quiet way. I mean, Yorkie's not a bad bloke, really. If this was one of our department, Brownlow wouldn't think twice about shopping us. No, we'll do it my way. Good lad, Carver. You made a mistake. I don't make mistakes like that. Well, I wouldn't worry too much. Would I, Miss Dean? Always have a fallback if it's possible. Yeah? The wallet I planted. Of course, you wouldn't have known about that. Mr. Maple does, don't you, sir? Uh, Miss Dean, I allowed this lady to put a wallet containing a ten-pound note in one of the lockers. It's dusted with a special chemical. It's unique. The lab makes it up for me each day, so no mixture is the same. Uh, yeah, could you come to the point? Well, the beauty of it is, it doesn't act straight away. Unless, of course, your hands begin to sweat. Does it, Miss Dean? Don't know what you're talking about. Well, let's have a look at your hands. Don't be shy. OK, smart ass. In. An orange juice carton. When did you intend retrieving the lorry? All the bins are emptied about half seven into a larger bin on the trolley by the evening cleaner. She leaves the trolley by the back door till the morning. It's not difficult. And the master key, the one you had cut, it's in there as well. I'll swap you. Can't have you with a bloody great old sight. Then again, coming from the wilds of Welsh Wales. What's it to you anyway? Come on, tap dog I wouldn't do that if I were you. I don't know what this is all about, Sarge. This one? Well, that's the last one. Well, it's none of them, is it? No. Well, if it isn't young loose lips, where did you do it, Jim? Well, what else could I do? What would you two have done? Well, I would have given it a few minutes, you know, time to give it a little thought. Then I would have had a, a night's sleep on it. Yeah, and in the meantime, an old mate. An old mate? Yes, an old mate. Me and Yorkie go back a long way. We pounded the beat together. Oh, spare us, for heaven's sakes, it's done. So how you can possibly look an old mate in the face? Yeah, but I might have saved his life. Oh, yeah, well, you certainly put his career on the line. But I did what I thought was best for Yorkie. So up yours. Now, this is the closest you'll get to being charged. Now, tell me the truth or you'll give me no alternative. This is one case where keeping silent won't save you, Smith. All right, I'm sorry. Then don't mess us about. Nothing. All right, Smith, what are they? Anabolic steroids. Steroids? Lots of athletes take them. It's not an offence. Why in heaven's name are you taking steroids? I've had a bad season. I lost the weight to try and get the speed bike, and I just couldn't get my game together. Yeah, but steroids? I wanted to build my strength bike. 
enhance my overall performance. You keep taking those, son. You'll end up like one of those Russian women athletes. They're a banned substance within the sport. Even I know that. I thought I might get dropped from the team next season. I want your assurance that you will never take them again. All right, sir. You've got my word. Inspector Burnside will require the name and address of the people who supplied you with the substance. I want this business cleared up now. I feel like a rat. How did you expect to feel? I didn't. York is a good bloke. <laughs> and you just wanted to save him from himself. I wanted to warn him off. This Burnside took it out of my hands. Yeah, he does that. What are you doing in here? I thought you were on CAD room this morning. I don't know. I'm just falling apart. Hey, come off it, Tom. Pull yourself together. I can't cope with the job anymore. And look, don't be silly. I mean it. I made a balls up of a really simple job yesterday. If it hadn't been for the soccer planting a visual market Hey, 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 now come off it. I cracked up. I really cracked up. Nearly there. Ready when you are. Yeah? Mr. West, it's the police. Can we have a word? Uh, what's it about? Just open the door, Mr. West. It's Sunday morning. Yes, I know it's Sunday morning. Can you hold on a second while I get dressed? It's on its way, Jim. Got it. It's got dressed now. Everything nice and tidy? Yeah. Good. That's what I like. Everything nice and tidy. Garvey's got it. Nice and tidy. Are you fancy keeping a record of who he supplied and how much, eh? I think there's some well-known athletes down there. Look at him. Oh, I don't believe that. It's not even. Look, I'm sorry. So, uh, what, what's going to happen to Weston? Investigated by the Ministry I really of am Fish sorry. And, uh, oh, watch what you're doing, Carver. Roach. What? Soggy cornflakes. Toast. Burnt toast. 